Hello, it's me again. Um, I think it's been about six weeks, if not more, since my last update. In that time, I've been a bit poorly, so I haven't been down to the plot and done as much as I would have liked. I've had to kind of take it easy a little bit. So I'm hoping that should be getting a bit better soon. And I thought I would give you a little update on the plot and what's been happening in that time. So some things have been really good, some things have been a bit crap. And I've had a few little harvests as well, which is nice. So I will turn you around and let you have a look. So um, we've added another two beds here. They're not quite done yet, as you can see. They need digging in and staking. That one's been done, although it needs topping up. Um, I popped some flowers in there. You can see everything's very weedy and grassy. Um, we have been down and strimmed a couple of times, but this year is just horrendous for weeds, even at home I've found. I've never known a year like it. So another change is, well, we've figured out the water butt has a leak in it. So I need a new one. It's not filling up. Um, we cleared out all this side and we've put some slabs there. I'm thinking about putting a little kind of mud kitchen for Florence to play with when she gets here. And we also made a little, um, what's it called? A little pond out of a washing up bowl. Now it's gone a bit manky to be fair. There's algae in it and there's loads of those little bug things. So I think it needs a good clean out and some pond plants putting in. It's only little but we found some frogs and so I wanted to put some water in for them. Um, yeah you can see all the kind of weeds in the grass have grown through this because I haven't put any chips over the top made a little border for the chives that needs tidying up and again that needs digging in now i have harvested some onions since i last showed you this and oh, i wanted to show you so i haven't been for about two weeks and i'm pretty chuffed with the size of these onions so bearing in mind i planted these what i think april time and i didn't think they would do very well i got these as sets half price and I'm chuffed with the size of them. So the uh, autumn sown ones that I got from home, most of these bolted, although some of them have done okay. But these ones, perfect. So I think moving forward, I'm just going to kind of spring plant them. They're looking pretty big. I'm gonna leave them a bit longer because you can see they're not, not many of them are bending over. So they're still growing. And another good thing is the leeks. They're looking pretty chonky. So I think this year will actually be a success with leeks. I did give them a trim. It was something I was told um, by a friend on Instagram who's like a leek god. And he said he trims them so that they don't bend in the wind, which one of them had done. I can't remember where it is now. But one of them had done, so that seems to be doing its job. We've got some spring onions that are about ready. We have broad beans growing now. Um, we've got that beetroot, multi sown And I think a cat's been in here because there's some dug up areas. Bit look. Loads of like long grass, but that's where we found the frogs. So I'm hesitant to tidy it up to be honest because I'd quite like those. Um, cabbages are doing well. Cauliflowers have all bolted. <laughs> I didn't harvest them in time. Um, never mind that's all right but yeah the cabbages are doing well. Lettuce also doing okay. I think it needs harvesting now. It's got some slug damage. I've already taken some of this home already. Herbs have settled in nicely more broad beans and kale. I've already had a few harvests from this and I think I'm going to take some more home with me today. Absolutely lovely roasted with um, olive oil and some garlic, salt and pepper. And then over here, I can't even remember what these are to be honest. I need to have a look. I can't remember what I planted, but they're huge. I think these are bristles. They're growing a little bit and some kaolettes. Um, what else? Now you can see lots of weeds have come through. 
it's not too bad I can get on top of those radishes are horrendous they all need pulling out they were ravaged by something tomatoes the dwarf totem tomatoes are doing really well I've not pinched out any side shoots because they're dwarf um, so I've just kind of let them go crazy and I'm really happy with them they're full to be honest um, we've already harvested some beetroot we've got some more look at that chunky one there um, climbing beans doing okay what else it's around this side globe out of choke looks like it's been ravaged but got a little ladybird there and then the asparagus seedlings they've got some ferns so they're growing oh, and then the horrendous potato patch look at the weeds now we've already weeded some of this the other week I mean that took two of us ages I really need to do the rest of this to be honest but yeah I just I'm just not quite there yet um thistles I'm really happy with these they look like they're gonna flower soon none yet we've got some more oh here we go we've got a bud so at home I've got full-blown um thistles pods growing so they're a bit further ahead but they're in the greenhouse um and then we've got pumpkins and squash so this one Oh, I think I didn't show you that I've got an archway now. I'll show you from this angle. I put the archway in. Now, I don't know if this would survive the winter, so I'll definitely probably take it down when it gets really windy. Um, but I've got some pumpkins growing up. Yeah. Some baby ones there. And then but you can see the slug, slug trails. Oh, there you go. You little one there. Um, I found this, <laughs> which is a shame, but never mind. Um, what else? What have I forgot to show you? Some more beans, dwarf beans here, baby ones growing, more climbing beans, and then you can see definitely a cat or something's been in here. And then I've also harvested lots and lots and lots of black currants. Now this bush was completely full. I made so much black currant jam, made some crumbles, absolutely amazing. And I've still got some more to harvest today before I go. And I think that'll be the last of it. Surprisingly, they don't seem to have been bothered by the birds. Um, but you can see all of this is still a weedy mess. Um, I just haven't been able to get around to it, to be honest. We did this section by section. I tried to cover a little bit over, but it does make it a bit easier to dig. I think, to be honest, I just want to get a really big sheet and cover it. I know it's all plastic on the plot and it's not great, but I don't feel like I have any other choice at the moment with how I've been. So yes, this is the plot. This is how it's been. Um, strawberries I did harvest quite a few of them already but you can see there's a big dot coming up there and that one's died so they've not done too great but they'll come back next year and probably be a lot better yeah so that is a pot so hopefully when I start to feel a little better I'll come down here a little bit more regularly um, and take some more content and show you a little bit more but for now i hope you're all doing well and happy growing